Hey everybody, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and time to savor that time with your family and just a time of gratitude. I'm standing here um, as we close out the month of November and the month of the dead, where we remember all those saints who've gone before us. And, and I hope that you're getting a chance to kind of visit the graves of your loved one and pray for them. I'm also standing here by these windows. Our facilities committee has been working hard and trying to figure out how to, how to do this. Um, but all these windows that is, are butted up, they figured out a way to get them lit up and kind of match the, the daylight. So good job, facilities team, which just shows us that, you know, like changes happen. Um, and sometimes they can't happen at certain times. But when the technology gets there and when the time is right, it, it is really something awesome. And change um, is good. And one of those changes that I want to talk with you, share with you about today is changes that will happen when I'm gone. During Advent, we're going to really focus on Eucharistic amazement. The Archbishop has asked every parish in the diocese to kind of focus on that as we prepare for Christ's birth and just his real presence among us. And so we'll be doing that in the Eucharist, and that'll be our focus. Um, but one of the changes that will happen while I'm gone, because there won't be a full-time priest here, and we're trying to get all the masses and, and reconciliation times covered, is... Uh, starting on December 24th, so Christmas Eve day, we'll have a 9.30 Mass, because there's just so many Masses that day. There won't be an 8.30 and 10.30, just a 9.30. But we're going to continue that um, on the 31st and then throughout January, February, and March while I'm gone. Now, part of that is that there's just this... Because I'm gone, I know that causes a change for all of you. There's not a full-time priest here. And... Uh, but on the, the second part of that is as not as many people as returned to our parish after COVID, the pastoral council has been talking about how we can unite our community in Jesus Christ and with one another. And one of the thoughts was to combine the masses so that we can all get to know each other better and to have food, faith, and fellowship during these times. And I, I know that that is a change that maybe not everybody likes. We have our masses that we like. Um, we have our times that we like. Uh, we also have our Lord and our community whom we love. And so we're going to use this time while I'm gone as a trial period, partly out of just the reality of, of what we need to do, but partly as a, is this a better thing for us? And I, so I'm sorry for a, a change, but like some things, changes can be good. It can bring about new light where there was darkness, a new unity, a new brightness, a new liveliness in our community focused on Christ and everybody getting to see one another at Christmas. So we're going to have uh, Wednesday nights, uh, throughout Advent and going in at six o'clock, we'll have praise and worship and adoration again, and that will continue um, throughout the new year. And then on Saturdays, there'll be four o'clock confessions, 530 mass. And then on Sundays, instead of the 830 and 1030, uh, there will just be a 930 mass here at St. Rose. Um, I'm going to be praying for you. I'm, I'm praying for God's blessing on you. And I'm praying that even as changes happen, that we also see the light uh, and the goodness in the changes. God bless you.